Let's see what's on the screen. Whoa. I, I did not sign up for this movie. Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic Mini City Build episode. This episode, I have two new buildings to showcase to you guys. And I also have some viewer submissions, including that little soccer or football field there. Not going to go into that debate. And I also have some machines sent to me by Doge Lord for the arcade here. So we have the arcade. And we also have the theater, which I just built a few days ago. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to check out some changes in the city. Now, there's not much changes other than this little plaza here with a golden cake statue. Or is it a pie statue? We will never know. <laughs> well, I, I'm not very good at making my own emblem in Scrap Mechanic. So that's the best I could do. It kind of looks like a cake, I guess, like a slice of slice of cake I, I don't know it's golden though that's all that matters it's made of gold <laughs> and then over here what I did is I added this little uh, divider here to add a little bit of depth to the city and I added some trees looks pretty nice and right here we have these little hanging decorations for a future theme now you guys might already know what the theme might be a lot of you suggested it, but uh, I'll let you guys kind of figure out what it's going to be. I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but uh, the city is preparing for that. We already have some here, and we have some decorations between these buildings here. Not much yet, just some here and there. And then back over here, we're going to start checking on the new creations. So right here, we have like an old theater. I kind of designed it after one that is near me. But uh, I couldn't really figure out how to add the times properly, so I just added these small pipes to it, like that. And then up there we have little neon lights. They don't really emit any light at all, but they're just for decoration. And then we got our movie posters. Yeah, the warning falling objects movie. Repeating over and over. <laughs> I could have added a retexture of these signs, but uh, I, think, I think they work for now. You guys get the idea. So we're going to head inside now. We got like this little uh, overhang here with some lights. It reminds me a lot of the old movie theaters. We're gonna head in now. And in here we have the lobby. Now these are like the showings. This is where you buy the tickets for the movies. You just stand here and order your tickets for whichever movie you want. And we have like a, we have the blue and yellow movie, the red and green movie, I, I don't know. It would be a lot better if this game allowed us to create text on walls, but I don't think they've gotten to that yet. Maybe once mod support comes out, we will have a lot more possibilities for that. But anyways, back here we have the back counter. These are just the cash registers or computers. Pretty simple. And these are the door controls here. And then back here, what we have is the concession. This is where you buy your snacks and your beverages. And your ducks. I guess your ducks. I don't know. We got some more cash registers right here. And we have the soda buttons. We got to the we got to the blue cola. We got to the spy cola, spy cakes cola. And then we have the red cola. <laughs> I'm not using names for obvious reasons, so there you go. And then back here we have the popcorn machine. It's kind of built into the wall because I was trying to conserve on space, but it works pretty well. Um, it's really small. I should have kind of hollowed that out a little more, but I think it works. I think it works for now. And there we go. We got like little boards up here displaying what you can buy for from the concession. Pretty simple. Pretty nice. Um, I really like the color scheme that I have in the theater. It's like, it's like a little, a really weird scheme. I don't know what I did with the floor. I just tried making something unique, but it, it looks pretty good. And we got a blue, the blue color scheme. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing really. And then over here, we have an arcade machine for the kids who want to come out here and skip the movie and play. Play on the arcade machine. <laughs> or wait on their parents to decide on what size of popcorn they want to bring into the theater. So yeah, looks pretty nice. I like the design I made with this. I actually want to kind of color this a different color here. Something like that would be nice. I think I like that a lot better. All right, let's head into the movie theater. This is a sign warning you that you should probably turn your phones off, I guess. I don't know. 
It's not very obvious, but yeah. We're gonna head inside. The door opens this way to prevent the screen from being blocked. Now, I'm gonna warn you guys before we head in. This is a miniature theater. So it's gonna be really small inside. So here is the kind of widescreen screen. screen. <laughs> widescreen surface there. Pretty cool. Over here, we got lights on the wall as well. And this is the seating. I don't know if I'm gonna stick to this color on the ground here, but I think I like it. I might I might make it like a purple or something. Let's see. Maybe like this color. Because theaters sometimes have the really gross colors like that. Yeah. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? What what color should it be? For now, I'm just gonna leave it the standard color, like this. And we got red seats, because there's a lot of theaters that have red seats. Or blue. And we're gonna head up, and we're gonna just take a seat, and we're gonna watch the movie that we, uh, we, we came here for. Let's see what's on the screen. Whoa. I, I did not sign up for this movie. <laughs> Alright, well, back here we have the projector. We can't go in there. I was gonna make it so that you could go in there, but there is not enough room back there. And you can pretty much just see the projector from there. We got the door back here. It's kind of a weird design, really. Because the the attendants have to come up here to go into that little room. But it kind of works. We're going to head back down and we're going to go outside. Um, we also got these walkway lights. They kind of fit. Um, these lights here don't work very well when you place them. Sometimes they will place... And not place. It's like every second one has lights, so it's kind of it's kind of awkward when you're trying to place it down. Because say we put it here, it's not gonna work. But yeah. All right. So that's the movie theater for now. I think I might add to it a little more in the future. Um, a lot of you suggested this um, build, so thank you guys for suggesting it. It is pretty sweet. It's really small. It's actually pretty big for the city. There's a lot of smaller buildings. The city hall is almost smaller than the theater, but oh well, I had to kind of conserve my space. There's not much you could do with a really, really small area for a theater. Uh, I could have made it a little smaller in the lobby, but I think that's good. I think that, I think that fit kind of fits. All right, now we're gonna head over to the next creation. We're gonna head over to the little soccer field or football field. So this football or soccer field was sent to me by Mindfish. He made this specifically for the mini city. It is pretty small. I might make a bigger one eventually, but I'll probably leave this one somewhere in the city. I don't know if I like this spot for it, but we're going to try it out. But anyways, all the creator's pages are in the description if you guys want to check it out and download these for yourselves. They are pretty sweet. Go check them out when you guys have time. Anyways, we're going to try this out ourselves. We just break these blocks here and we get our hammer. Not really soccer, but oh well. Here we go. I think I overshot it. <laughs> oh well. We're gonna we're gonna throw that back into the field. This might have to be extended because if you're playing this with two people, um, I could see it be pretty easy. Look look at that. I just got I just got a goal. There we go. <laughs> pretty pretty easy actually. Yeah, pretty sweet though. I can see this being pretty fun with two people. Well, maybe not when you're partaking in property damage, but <laughs> you know what I mean. So let's head to the next creation, the arcade building. Now this is one of my favorite buildings so far in the mini city, as uh, I used to go to arcades all the time. We still have some in the city near to me, and they are pretty cool, but I haven't been to any lately. I used to go a lot when I went to the city, but uh, it, it used to cost me a lot of money because I'd stay there for hours on end. <laughs> but anyways, this is the arcade building. It's called the Coin Stop. We have some coins up there on the signs. Getting inserted into a coin slot. We have a joystick on the side of the wall here. We have some speakers and uh, we got some bike stands here. And this is actually for the lights. Don't worry about that. I built around it. All right, we're going to head inside now. We're just going to press this button here. And this door opens up pretty weird. Pretty weird because I'm going to be adding machines on the side here. And I don't want them to be in the way of the door. So I made it like this for good intentions. And it works pretty well. 
So this is the arcade room. It's pretty empty, I know. But that's because I am going to be looking for your guys' submissions on arcade machines. Miniature arcade machines, similar to these ones here. And if you guys have any of your own arcade machines that you want to send to me, send them to the email address on the screen. Or you can send me the links through Twitter as well. But uh, yeah, let's fill up this room and see how many awesome arcade machines we can get. As long as they are small, I will add them to the arcade. Now, I already have two sent to me by Doge Lord. We're going to head down here and we're going to spawn them in. Here they are. And this is the Spy Cakes the Game Machine. <laughs> he custom built this for me. It's a, it's, it's a game about me, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, there's the joystick, there's buttons, it actually works. Mine doesn't actually work. They are just for decoration, but they look pretty good. I really like the design he did with this one though. And then over here we have the ski ball machine. Now this one's a little long, a little longer than I would want, but I can work with this. I'm gonna actually put this one in the corner. So we're gonna break these connector blocks like this. We're gonna kind of tip this over somehow. I guess we can. Hit it with a hammer. <laughs> it's light enough for that. So we're going to throw down this machine somewhere. I have a lot of room right here next to my machines. So we're going to put it down right here. Is this correct? It is. And there we go. Does that, doesn't that look awesome? That's sweet. So we have three machines. Three arcade machines for now. They look pretty cool. Now we're going to add the ski ball one as well. We're going to put this one in the corner, if we can. Okay. Now, where will this fit properly? This might have to be placed down a couple times to get it right. Ooh. I think right about there is good. There we go. I guess that's as good as we're going to get. So <laughs> there's the ski ball uh, machine. It actually works. We turn it on, and it has these amazing lights. Look at that. That's awesome. He did an amazing job on this. We're going to actually try this out for ourselves. There we go. That totally worked. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Um, there we go. <laughs> cool. But anyways, that's the ski ball machine. It looks pretty good and it works pretty awesome. The lights are amazing. And over here, what we have is the counter or the desk. This is where you buy your coins for playing the machines. And you can win prizes if you get enough tickets. You could get a pillow. You can get a severed leg. You could get an orange duck, a green duck, a radio, and a shock. <laughs> what, what, what amazing prizes. What every miniature city kid wants so we have a little cash register on the counter here pretty nice or a computer and down here we actually have the buttons to turn off the lights you can kind of make a cool little design like a snake uh it kind of fits the arcade theme just turn it back on once that gets long enough there we go we got a snake <laughs> and over here we have the button for the radio that's not very arcadey so we're going to turn that back off but yeah and there's all the machine, all the uh, logic gates for the doors and the lights. Pretty simple, actually. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the arcade. We still got a lot of stuff to add, um, including a bunch more machines. And I'm going to be looking for your guys' submissions for those. So I can't wait to actually fill this up. We could probably fit, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8 to 10 machines if they are a decent size. I can't wait for that. We're going to head back outside. Close that door. And I forgot to mention, but you guys already probably seen it. We have a parking lot here. Because I can't actually add any more parking spaces on the side here. Because the ground kind of clips through the blocks where the parking spot is. So I had to kind of uh, make up a parking lot here to kind of fit the need of parking spaces and we got a parking we got a stop sign here but uh yeah i think that's pretty much it for this episode guys 
If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And uh, the next themes in the future episodes should relate to these hanging decorations here. But yeah, anyways guys, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye. Also, the download link for the mini city is in the description guys, so enjoy.